Hello guys! So, kumusta naman ang pag-celebrate ng inyong New Year? Ayan, Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat. And, uh, kumusta naman ang pasok ng inyong year 2021? So, today po is a Saturday, 2nd of January 2021. And, this will be our first tour for the year 2021. And, for today po, dahil holiday po uh, dito sa Bahrain, ang... Um, Itutour ko kayo sa isa sa mga archaeological site dito sa Bahrain And this is known as uh, the Bahrain Fort or the Portuguese Fort So guys, uh, mag uh, road trip muna tayo ngayon And maya maya po is makakarating na tayo sa isa sa pinakamagandang tanawin dito sa Kingdom of Bahrain Ang Bahrain Fort or in Arabic po is Kalat al Bahrain So ayan po, let's go guys!
So guys, ito na yung pinaka main entrance ng Bahrain Fort or the Portuguese Fort. So this is an archaeological site located in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Archaeological excavations carried out since 1954 have unearthed antiquities from an artificial mound of 12 meter or the 39 feet height containing several stratified layers created by various occupants from 2300 BC up to the 18th century. It was once the capital of the Delmon civilization and was inscribed as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005. The archaeological findings which are unearthed in the fort reveal much about the history of the country. The area is thought to have been occupied for about 5,000 years and contains a valuable insight into the copper and bronze ages of Bahrain. The first Bahrain fort was built around 3,000 years ago on the northeastern peak of Bahrain Island. The present fort dates from the 6th century AD. The capital of the Delmon civilization, Delmon was, according to the Epic of Gilgamesh, the land of immortality, the ancestral place of Sumerians and the meeting point of gods. The site has been termed as Bahrain's most important site in antiquity.
The Bahrain Fort is a typical tale, an artificial mount created by many successive layers of human occupation. The strata spreads over a 180,000 feet square area which encompasses the tale. This testifies to a continuous human presence from about 2300 BC to the 16th century AD. About 25% of the site has been excavated, revealing structures of different types, residential, public, commercial, religious, and military. They testify to the importance of the site as a trading port over the centuries. On the top of the 12-meter high mound, there is the impressive Cal at Albortugal or the Portuguese fort which gave the whole site its name Cala, meaning fort. As the site was the capital of the Delmon civilization, it contains the richest remains of these civilizations, which was thereto only known from the written Sumerian references. The excavations of the tale have revealed a small settlement, the only one of that period in Eastern Arabia on its northern side. It has been inferred that the village was settled by the people who developed agriculture near the oasis, planted palm trees, tended cattle, sheep, and goats, and also ventured into fishing in the Arabian Sea. The small houses they built were made of the rough stone with clay or mortar as binding material. The plastered floors in the houses were said to, to have been spacious. Excavations also hinted that the village had streets which separated the housing complexes. The fortifications seen in the excavated tail area were found around the township and were erected in the cardinal directions. The fort walls are seen now only in the northern, western, and southern slopes of the tail, and the eastern side is yet to be excavated. There was a palace in the center of the tail at a commanding location consisting of several warehouses which were inferred as an indicative economic activity during the Delmon period. Proceeding from here towards the north along the streets leads to a large gate that probably was the entry to the palace grounds. The modest houses built in the same size and type of construction were laid along a network of roads. The palace prospered till 1800 BC after when it was deserted. Eventually, the town became covered with drift sand from the sea.
guys, we're going outside of the fort now. And what I have just shared to you is about the history, the explorations, the descriptions, and the layout of the Bahrain fort or the Portuguese fort. So, sana guys, nag-enjoy kayo sa aming, uh, sa aking pagtutoy sa inyo sa isa sa mga archaeological site dito sa Kingdom of Bahrain. So, ayun guys, nandito na po tayo sa labas and uh, this time is pupunta na tayo sa baba and uh, tingnan natin kung ano ang mga games doon na pwede mag-enjoy yung mga bata. And abangan nyo po sa next week ang aking uh, part 2 ng vlog na ito, ang aming children's day out. So, abangan nyo po kung gaano kasi yung mga bata na mag-horse riding. So, yan po ang Eva vlog ko next week, part 2 po nitong uh, um, day out namin today. So, thank you so much guys sa pagsama sa amin. Bye-bye!